Um, let me see if I can find our way. This clearly isn't it. This is where they keep the old photocopiers. What is going on, geeks? Unite the clans here, back in your life with another episode of Fallout 4. This is episode 23. In the last one, big things happened. We met this man. And this synth. And if you haven't watched the series up till now, you should. I'll give you a link for it right now. And I should say, guys, episode 23 makes this the longest Let's Play I've ever done of a game. And that's what I wanted. I was excited to get deep into this game and take you guys with me. This man claims to be Sean. I fell for it. I thought this robot was my boy. Ten years didn't pass after my son was stolen, my wife was shot, and I was refrozen. Sixty did. And this man, father, is now the leader of the Institute, claims to be our son. And he's asked us to come in and see what this place is all about. I was intent on a battle where I kill thousands of th synths, and I come to a moral decision of do I blow this place up or not. And that's not what happened. <laughs> it's not what happened at all. Sean has asked us to come in and meet the people he works with. And in this episode, we are going to do that. We are roaring towards the finish. Let me talk to him. Sean, about this synth. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. Why build it to look... That's a good like question. You? We've advanced the technology behind synths to a point where this struck me as an interesting variation. A new angle, if you will. Modeling it after myself seemed only natural, what, with the Institute's records and my genetics and Fair physiology. enough. Fair enough. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact I with him further. I don't but know if I want to. I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him? Like you would a real boy. Uh, I don't think so. It's not you. It's not even human. I could never love that. No, perhaps not. But in many ways, he matches what you've been searching for all this time. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but... If in some small way the boy's presence can help... Huh. I hope you'll keep an open mind. Wow. Guys, things here are different than I expected. Um, let me see if I can find our way. This clearly isn't it. This is where they keep the old photocopiers. Uh, let me see if I can find some of these people we're supposed to meet. One of them, I think, is Dr. Lee, who was in Rivet City. I think I called it Rust Bucket in the last episode, but Rivet City. Oh, here. Is this it? Spiral Staircase. This is cool. Okay. Um, they look like they're mostly below us. I really, I don't know what to expect, guys. I'm not sure what twists and turns this game holds for it's us. It's an honor to have you here, sir. Wow. I have killed a lot of your pure compatriots. <laughs> um, I hope you're cool with the. Hey, there's one. Almost Who are done. you? Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. Ugh. As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough. Oh, I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. Huh. I can't argue with that. Don't look too Even close. So, there you go. The now it looks like she's working on him. If I stand here, go. definitely not. Unit, you can return to duty. Unit. Thanks again. Of course. Hey. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. We're all looking forward to working with you. I'm not sure I'm going to be working with you people. I may decide to destroy this whole place. It's my responsibility to make sure this place runs smoothly. Hi. Well, they weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. The Jordy LaForge. About you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? My boy. 
I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now, great I'll man. give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. Right. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that no. mean you're on board? Not yet. I'm not on board with anything. No? And yet here you are, poking around. One might find that suspicious. If you're not planning on staying, I'd recommend keeping your hands to yourself. Wouldn't want to give the impression you're up to something. All Consider right. We're having another talk with Sean. He really is anxious to have you with us. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. No. Uh, I don't want to talk you. to you anymore. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Yeah, you got some attitude, Chica. And I ain't got no time for you. Uh, we have two more I people. I know you'll achieve great things here. This place really looks like what the year 2280 might have looked like if the bombs had never fallen. This place looks like it's just continued uh, the innovation. Pardon we have me. advanced systems. It's just remarkable. That's clearly the mess hall and, and bioscience. I think one of the people we had to meet, yes, is in bioscience. Yes, they are. Who's in bioscience? This is the guy that Sean had some attitude about. He was like, oh yeah, and Dr. What's-His-Face in bioscience. Said it with a bit of a, a sneer. Let's see who's waiting for us here. We look so out of place. Pristine walls. This looks like the inside of a Federation starship from Star Trek, and we are a dirty, filthy cowboy with beat-up armor. Still carrying around his badass, badass shotgun. But we'll put that away for now. This time to examine my latest reports on here. Speaking of Star Trek, wow. Father's plans to expand our operations at Warwick. He's eager to get that going. Warwick. So I've had to put everything else to one side. I wonder how the Warwick family is doing. Young Wally must be close to ten years old by now. It's remarkable that any child can survive for so long up there, don't you think? I. That's bullshit. I try not to think too much about it. How do you think there's yeah, all kinds of adults up there, you idiot, ourselves. Isaac? Of course, Those children can are survive. The remnants of a dying past. It's best not to dwell on the subject. There's still people, and there's suffering. That's right. We can at least admit that it's regrettable. After all, how can we hope to redefine mankind if we can't even hold on to our own humanity? I'm glad well, these conversations are being had here. Our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well. All right, talk to me, Holden. Hey, Doc. I Welcome. suppose you're right. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Huh. What work wait, is what? that? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of studies such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Your head's too small for your body, Clayton. to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. What? You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a what? pet project at this point. I didn't see any gorillas. It's exciting, nonetheless. Uh, what gorillas? Uh. Seems like there's nothing you guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity, any challenge can be overcome. Yeah, I'm I sure guess I've if you enough of your time decide to hide down here with all, all your resources and not help the other Have human you decided beings. decided whether you'll join us? Um. I'm not sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Yeah. Or if you prefer, no. I'd be happy to answer no any questions. questions you might have. No questions. I'm good for now. Thanks. Take care then. What gorillas? Where were the gorillas? Synth gorillas? Where? Show. Here. I was headed for Holdren. Look at that. The synth gorilla project is showing promising results. Father's work has been a real inspiration for me. Okay. That is kind of cool, I guess. 
Um, we ain't done. Met two of these fools. Met Dr. Alley, met Holdren. We're headed back into the Institute. We gotta meet ourselves somebody new. There are two more scientists to meet, and I guess, guys, through all this, we're supposed to be deciding if we're gonna stay in the Institute, but... I mean, coming in here, all of our friends hate these people. Our friends in the wasteland, uh, the Brotherhood, at war with the Institute, the railroad, essentially fighting a covert war. Here's another one, synth retention. What the hell does that mean? Coursers? Authorized personnel only. Greetings, sir. Stand down, fool. I'm entering Institute SRB, whatever that means. Seriously thinking of heading over to robotics to knock some heads together. What now? They're Excuse me. Their feet on the it's an honor to meet you, sir. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Mm. Please don't. Send There's a message. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. Let's talk, Doc. What's your deal? Hi, Doc. So, here you are. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. You're I'm a bit sure of an unknown quantity. There won't be any issues, will there? Oh, I'd love to answer this question. Why? Don't you trust me? Oh, it's nothing personal. I don't trust anyone. Ooh. Now, Father is Persuasion asked, attempt you failed. A brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Hmm. I know one of them. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. So why are they That's escaping? Why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. You sure? It's Our not got anything to do with them Third wanting it? Synth assigned to operate on the surface. Yeah, I've met Corsair a Courser. Hunt down and reclaim synths. He had a ponytail. The Institute. And they I obliterated him. Trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. Yeah, whooped him. In fact, him. I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Secrets are secrets. Why does it matter? If there is some defect in Courser combat programming, then it must be identified and corrected. I think I'll keep it to myself, I'll my have friend. To ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need Yeah, you guys else, have problems living in your magical place underground. How about all the people on the surface? Right. Justin, peace out, brother. I have Excuse me. Yes. Get lost. Guys, I I'm so torn. This place has so much. And the people on the surface have nothing. And Subject they identified. seem determined to stay underground here. I mean, look at this. This is so much more impressive than anything in the wasteland. Even the Brotherhood doesn't hold a candle to this. I battled with my decision over... When are you going to tell me about this mysterious Phase 3? You know I can't talk about that. I battled with my decision over who to help me get inside here, who to build the signal interceptor, because I wanted to align with somebody who agreed with my belief system. So I chose the railroad. They seem to have the rights of synths like Nick Valentine and that one girl, Jenny, that we met. They seem to have the rights of those people in mind, and um, my goals were pretty simple. Find Sean, help the people of the Wasteland, and the Institute didn't seem to be helping any of the people of the Wasteland, so how could I not align with the people opposed to them? Here. Where? She's where been are you? for over two hours. What Shh. is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. In case anyone didn't mention it, Nathan, Nathan, Fire time I, runs from huh? 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. <clears throat> Child synth prototype may truly be the key to our future. You don't want to look at me when you talk to me. Hey, Excuse Janet. Me. Yes. Talk to me. I hope you and well, father try to make up the time. That was productive. Lost. Family. Okay, okay, okay. Evan, hello. If you ask me, 
We're only scratching Since the surface with here, the latest things. You should take time to learn our safety procedures. These and people. The sooner the better. Zip Rules it, dude. Order. Okay, Evan. Enough for you. Hello, hello, Doctor Madison Lee. Yes, from Fallout Three. Doctor Madison Lee helped you reunite with your father in Fallout Three, and somehow she's made it here. Excuse me, Doctor. Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes, yes. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. What work what is, is he that? What working on? Advanced systems, special projects. You've seen the boy, a uh, uh, synth, already. We've been hard at work on him for quite a while now. She looks oh, older. Before I forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. Hmm. You're to be given full access with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Wow. Um. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. Fair in enough. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. All now, these people have his back. Else, I really do need to get back to work. Every single person here has Sean's back. Um, I'm good. I'm good for now. Thanks. All right. I think we have met all four of the scientists. Use the network scanner holotape. This is the exact same as this. Any terminal. Um, the reason that I, I keep playing along is that I, I think I'm going to carry through the railroad's orders, their request. I think I'm going to find a terminal and, and upload the network scanner and make contact with, with Patriot. The railroad's man on the inside. I have not seen enough here to make me want to give up all my allegiances and all my friends in the wasteland for this weird, cold, science fiction underground facility. I just want a terminal and um, a way to upload this file at the bottom of the staircase behind a bunch of crates. We have found a terminal and we should have a holotape that says network scanner. This should put us in contact with Patriot. Message from Tom. Big D demanded a tutorial be included, so here it is, short version. Plug this into any institute terminal and copy the message, long version. Patriot's been sending us short coded messages for years using an evil little encryption scheme. Oh yeah, this is Tinker Tom, right? It was a bitch and a half to reverse engineer. Patriot's got skill, but I nailed it. Put this tape in any institute terminal and I'll deliver a gift wrap message straight to Patriot. If you're going into the belly of the beast, friend, don't trust anything. Tinker Tom, out. Transmitting. Initiate. Downloading, downloading, downloading. Scan complete. Institutionalized is complete. What next? Ready? Copy encrypted message. Read Patriot's reply. Patriot? Urgent reply. 001. Meet at the advanced systems maintenance room. Holy crap, guys. Synth retention. Talk to father. I think that quest begins just by completing institutionalize. Guys, uh, advanced systems is Dr. Lee's lab. 
Let's see if we can get back to her real quick and maybe be able to end that episode, this episode with that conversation where yes. is Patriot and is Dr. Report, Lee, sir. that Patriot. In Fallout 3, there's a quest involving a synth. It's one of my favorite quests from that game. And um, there's a man from the Institute there with a German name. I don't remember him. And he questions Dr. Lee to see if she knows about his missing synth. She doesn't, or at least she pretends not to. Am I in the wrong spot? Why is it directing me back out in there? In case anyone didn't mention it, quiet time runs from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Doctor? Dr. Lee. Is everything okay, Dr. Lee? You seem pretty tense. Yes, things are... It's fine. I'm sorry, I don't socialize much. I prefer to focus on my work. Huh. Okay. I thought it might be her. But, um, as much as that message said to come here, we're being directed back out into the Institute. Who the hell is Patriot? And I'm sorry, this is going to be a longer episode, but it is what it is below me and 30 meters. 20. There. There. Under the staircase. Yes. Oh my gosh, guys. Is it Sean? No. Hey, it's me. So you're the one who sent the encrypted message. How did you even do that? I wasn't sure anyone on the surface would have a chance to crack Trinity. You know, the encryption algorithm. You haven't met Tinker Tom. I'm not sure I should trust you. You're worried about me? If the SRB cracked Trinity, man, your message was only one word. Friend. What did you mean by that? What do you think? At the very least, I'm hoping it means you won't turn me in. But you really are a friend, aren't you? I hope so. The railroad's in the business of helping synths, too. That makes us friends. What? The railroad? As in the railroad. Uh, I kept sending synths to the surface hoping someone would help them. Oh, God. The Thank God. Thank them, so God. I never knew for certain. Tell me. Why are you helping synths? At first, I just wanted to see if I could get away with it. It was a challenge, you, you know? But then I realized the synths are really just like us. Except without any freedom. Certainly I decided seems that the way. helpful ones that wanted to escape so they can have a better life. With you in the picture, I have this idea. To rescue a lot of synths. At once. But we'll need help. Oh my gosh. Where's he working now? Right. Let's go to the West Atrium. Probably best to talk about something else right now. Guys, um... You know my father thinks it's a living hell on the surface. But that can't be right. Heck. You look positively normal to me. Uh, no offense. Guys, uh, I'm gonna take a break. This is already a longer episode, but we have met all the scientists of the Institute and Patriot. And in the next episode, if forced to choose between my son and freeing people who need freedom i don't know what i'll do uh but that's gonna end it for this one thank you so much for tuning in and for watching the series up till now i will see you all in the next episode what is going on geeks unite the clans here back in your life with another episode of don't starve shipwreck coming to you from my ginormous unfertilized berry farm